So this is the site uh, that I mentioned a while ago that I followed. It had the six uh, uh, six uh, flight modes on my Tyrannus and uh, Pixel. Uh, the site is uh, flighttest.com, and uh, there's an article there posted by uh, Hill the Flyer. So if you go down, it 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 be overwhelming, but it has a detailed description on how you're gonna set up logical switches and define PWM uh, oh, sorry how to you know you could uh, control uh, the PD PWM value so that it uh, goes to a certain flight mode uh, on the pixel so again this is what I mentioned a while ago uh, if you will be setting this up on your Trinus radio it will be very cumbersome so please you know get familiar uh, with OpenTX companions available uh, download for Mac and for Windows. It also provides you a you know detailed uh, what do you call this description or setting on what you need to achieve and uh, the target weight percentage that you need to put on uh, on your radio so that uh, it will uh, hit a specific value that the big soft would understand. So again, this one is really cumbersome if you're going to set it up on your radio, so you know, OpenTX uh, is uh, your best friend when setting this up. So again, there's really not much that I can add, I just followed this, it was a bit overwhelming at first, but uh, yeah, I got, uh, I was able to set it up, uh, I set up six flight modes on my uh, on my uh, Tyrannus Pixel and uh, with a Mini Talon. Now that you have uh, your uh, logical switches and your channel, your mixes uh, configured on your uh, on your Tyrannus radio, you can uh, configure your uh, your Pixel APM to uh, map or allocate which flight mode goes to which uh, switch. So I have here Mission Planner. Uh, this is uh, connected by USB to uh, my mini talent and uh, let's uh, go to initial shut setup mandatory hardware and uh, I would suggest that uh, we or I would assume that you know, you're watching this video because you've done the calibration of your radio and your yaw, pitch, roll, and throttle are all configured properly. If you haven't done that, please do uh, do it before you, you know, proceed in configuring your flight modes. So to set up the flight modes, uh, this is how I had uh, mine done. So uh, if you notice, it's stabilized, fly-by-wire, A, return to launch, fly-by-wire, B, cruise. I will not go through uh, the explanation of uh, each flight mode. You could go to the, uh, either the APM web website or Ardru Pilot, Ardru Pilot uh, uh, site and read about what each flight mode does. So here I will give you an example uh, when my switch F is at the down position and my SC is on the up position, it's on stabilized mode. Once I, once I move the switch C to the middle position, it goes to fly uh, by wiring. Down position, it goes to return to launch. So that's uh, that's basically it. Now I put my uh, S uh, F switch to the up position. It automatically goes to fly by wire B. S C uh, while S C is on the up position. Cruise and then down to manual. Now I've been uh, trying to figure out why this manual is grayed out, and apparently it is mandatory. That's what I've read. So I can't really, you know, 
figure out I would like this to be uh, my first flight mode but apparently I, I, I mean if you know how to uh, to do it please uh, leave a comment on the video so remember when I mentioned the PWM values you know the minus 41 minus 35 100 those are all pre-configured by that uh, person who uh, posted in flight test uh, to actually achieve a PWM signal within this range so without those it's uh, going to be a long trial and error until you achieve uh, you know the values that is mapped for each uh, each flight mode now if you are interested to see what those values are you go to radio calibration and for example my SC SF is on a down position and SC is on the up position which is my uh, stabilize flight mode that is the signal that I'm getting 993992 now if I move the switch C to middle position that will change to 1295 now 1295 on the flight mode is within that range and that's why it goes to fly uh, by wiring and so on and so forth for the other uh, flight modes now it doesn't mean that it has to be like that you could map this to any other flight modes available uh, in the Pixar or APM or flight controller you just need to choose them again I'm not gonna go to each and every one of them but this is basically how I uh, set up my uh, my Tranis, my Pixonk, and uh, my Mina Talent to use uh, six flight modes uh, using two switches.